I literally look offensive. That's how I look like. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the newly launched Nykaa's Strobe and Glow Liquid Highlighter. Now out of the three beautiful shades that they have launched, I have picked up the shade Glazed Bronze for myself. Now, in this video, I'm going to be testing it out in three different methods. The first method, I'm going to use the liquid highlighter like a base and then apply my foundation so that it looks like an overall glow from within. The second method, I'm going to use it mixing up with my foundation and then going over with my regular makeup. And the third method is going to be the normal common method of applying any highlighter which is on the high points of my face. Now the biggest catch is the fact that my skin is extremely oily and greasy. I have a lot of bumps, a lot of texture, a pits, pores, name it my skin is problematic. So today we are going to see how Nykaa's liquid highlighter performs on my oily, greasy, textured as skin. And if you have not already, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right into the video. So first let's quickly get over with the description and the claims of the product. Now it says that meet the ultimate glow creator. Nykaa strobe and glow liquid face highlighter instantly creates that stunning blinding gleam that we all crave. Never sparkly or sticky, just pure luminescence is what you get with these magic drops. Enriched with gilded pearls to exude that ever coveted natural lit from within glow or proudly vegan formulation is not tested on animals, just on a bunch of glow getters. So it's nicely written. <laughs> Now coming to the claims it already specified about not being sparkly or sticky. It also claims to be a lightweight formula, it is easily blendable, it is highly pigmented, it has a dropper applicator for controlled usage and it suits all Indian skin tones. Now this is priced at 699 rupees for 20 ml of product and it is cruelty free, paraben free, it is vegan, dermatologically tested, no preservatives and SLS free as well. Now the price point is a little bit high up there but let's just see how everything goes. So I have a super zoomed you guys in and let's get into the first method where I'm going to apply the liquid highlighter as a base and then go over with my foundation. Baby has. I look crazy. I literally look offensive that's how i look like i look ridiculous let me quickly get over with the foundation so i'm using the maybelline superstay foundation on my booty blender and So as you guys know, the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation is a super duper matte foundation and it looks really nice. It looks like a nice glow and let me quickly finish the rest of my makeup. So I finally did my eye makeup and this is what everything looks like. It is well put together. Now initially it did look super crazy but then I trusted the process and it looks beautiful right now. Now as you guys saw, all the products that I had used are extremely mattifying. I did not use any setting spray or anything. But then right now, using the liquid highlighter as a base, it has given this nice, subtle, natural kind of a glow, very lightly, not that much, but it looks pretty. So the time right now is about 4.40 p.m. And let me quickly see if there's any natural light to find because it has been raining in Chennai, which is amazing. But uh, yeah, this is my natural bedroom lighting and it looks pretty even in this lighting. So I'm going to see you guys in some time, probably in about 3-4 to four hours or if my skin gets super greasy, 
Whichever one is earlier, I will see you guys then. So I am back and the time right now is about 9.27 p.m. And it has been close to five hours since I last applied it. So this is how everything is looking like. So using the Nykaa's liquid highlighter, about two and a half to three hours mark is when it gave that nice glowy kind of a skin. It started becoming shiny, but in a nice way. It was more like a glow, not like oily. But then after three, three and a half hours is when everything started becoming a bit heavy. I could feel the oils coming through. Now this foundation that I have used over it, that lasts for more than six, six and a half hours on my oily, greasy skin. I've already done a review on that. I love the foundation. It works well for me. But then using this, it lasted only for like about two and a half to three hours mark. That's it. So this is a clean finger and uh, yep. It's coming off. Do you guys see? So the highlighter has come off along with the foundation and there is a missing patch of foundation on my cheeks. So that's not a good look. So overall, in conclusion, the Nykaa's Strobe and Glow Liquid Highlighter cannot be used as a base before your foundation, especially for oily skin person. So now let's quickly move on to method number two of adding the liquid highlighter with your foundation. Hey guys, and today is day two for me and we are gonna test out method number two right now. And I also recreated yesterday's eye look just to continue on with the flow. And for method number two, we are going to mix the Nykaa's liquid highlighter along with my foundation and apply it and see how it looks and wears throughout the day. So I have zoomed you guys in and I'm gonna take one pump of the same Maybelline Superstay foundation. One pump of the foundation with one drop of the liquid highlighter. Just gonna take the back of a brush and mix all of it up. Okay, so this is what is it's looking like right now. So I'm taking my booty blender, which is from Blue Heaven, and I'm gonna go through. So I did not prime my face. I only applied my normal moisturizer, which is the Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer on my face quite some time back. So I'm doing the same process again. So the foundation is on right now and this is how everything is looking like so far. And the calculation I had used was two pumps of foundation with one and a half drops of the liquid highlighter. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So this is a quick completed makeup look and the time right now is about 11.42 a.m. And the products that I've used, I will mention it on the description box below as always now what i really wanted to do is i wanted to add the highlighter on my high points of my face which is method number three so for this i'm not even going to go with a drop i'm just gonna touch it and that's it and with my fingers i'm going to blend it Okay, so with this side, I actually want to try and see how it will be with a highlighter brush. So since it is a liquid highlighter, the fan brush uh, will not be a good option because it will make it streaky. I'm just going to use my normal uh, highlighter brush that I usually use. Okay, it's given a nice, subtle, pretty glow once you blend it. And yeah. So I'm not dropping it, I'm just adding a book, that's it. Probably here, here. On my hair. This second time this is happening. Very lightly, I'm just feathering it. It's very pretty. Okay. 
and whatever's left over I'm just adding. So since it is daytime and there is beautiful sunlight, it's sunny outside, I'm going to show you guys how it looks in natural lighting. So I am back right now and the time is about 3.15 p.m. Sorry, 3.16 p.m. And uh, yeah, it has been a little bit over three and a half hours or close to three and a half hours. And this is how oily I am. So at around two and a half hours, three hours itself, I started getting oily. And uh, this is how everything is looking like, which I'm not too happy about. <laughs> so this is how greasy and oily I'm looking. And trust me, in, uh, in person, it is much more bad. I will insert a video of how it's looking like in natural lighting so that you guys have an idea but uh, yeah it is oily and it has only been about three three and a half hours so I did test out all the three methods and I have my final thoughts right now which I made a note of as well so firstly for the pros now it is not chunky it is not glittery which is a great thing and it is hydrating and the finish though oh my god the finish is beautiful even my mom she was like your skin is looking nice even though you have texture and recently i have got a lot of these bumps right now but even then even with that the skin was looking pretty so now coming to the cons the first con is something that is like super nitpicky i do not know if it's something wrong with just my bottle or even for others but the dropper does not drop the product it doesn't do its job what it's supposed to do the second con is to do with the fact that it lasts for like literally three hours on my skin and that too using it with a very mattifying kind of products after it like the foundation is matte the concealer was matte the loose powder was matte everything matte but then it lasted only for three hours which is a very short time frame for me for my skin to become oily and greasy so the third con is kind of correlated with the second con is the fact that my foundation mixed with my oil as well as the highlighter it was pretty mushy and it was kind of moving about and transferring and that is really not a great thing at all so the fourth con is to do with the texture on my skin now already my skin is textured and with this highlighter as soon as it got even a little bit oily it accentuated my texture a lot lot more and that was not a great look so that is like the fourth con for the next con i did not like how the highlighter when i used it on its own that is method number three it was a bit sticky on my cheekbones like i will insert the video right now as you guys can see when i used my finger and touched it it was sticky on my cheekbone but then when i used it in the other part of my face it was not as sticky so i hope this makes sense so for this kind of a liquid highlighter you would have to use like a powder highlighter as well just to set it in place but for this price point that's too much that was my last con that is the price point so if you take in all the cons that is quite a big fat list for the price point so yeah so for my final thoughts on the nikas strobe and glow liquid highlighter now if you have a textured or an oily skin type or even a combo skin type I would not advise you to use it as a base before your foundation or even mixing it up with your foundation I would not advise that now if you have a dry or a normal skin type I would suggest you want to use it then if you mix it up with a matte foundation if there's any matte foundation that's lying in your house you're not using it then use that one and it will give you that beautiful overall glow from within kind of a beautiful finish on you and that will be lovely but then this is like an advice for everyone if you want to use it like a normal highlighter only around your cheekbones or on your nose or anything make sure that you do set it with a powder like another powder highlighter i feel that kind of beats the purpose of buying an expensive liquid highlighter but that is just the solution if you have already bought it or if you're planning to buy it so yeah, these were my thoughts about the Nykaa's new liquid highlighter and this wraps up today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Nishanayar on Instagram and it's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. 
So until the next time, take care. Bye.